hey welcome back to the channel guys in today's video we are going to create a minimalistic intro inside hit film express so let's take a look at what we'll be creating today right so let's get started open up hit film express let's create a new composite shot i'm going to rename this to main duration we can change that to four so our animation is four seconds long 19 20 1080 30 fps and click on ok let's create another composite shot i'm going to call this logo placeholder i'm going to change the width to 300 and height to 300 as well let's just close this composite shot and now we are in the main comp let's create a new plane layer call this pg for background i'm going to give it a white color click on ok right click on the layer and click on make composite shot let's just rename this to bg placeholder click on ok so this is where our background will be right now it's a white color simple plain layer but if you want to change it to an image we can click on import and drag in our image into this composite chart right so let's just go back to our main comp let's just drag in this background layer i'm going to rename this to line or maybe we can just start with the circle and search for the fill color effect applied on this layer set the fill color to 100 and change the color to black and click on ok now uh, i just want to find the center of our animation um, so we can do that by creating a new create layer or we can also use the camera but i just like to create a create layer and apply the 1080 title save guide effect and they'll give all these guides uh, i just want to focus on the one that is in the center just select the circle layer make sure your ellipse mask is selected just put your mask right in the center uh, just create a click and hold and create a shape now hold the alt and the shift key on the keyboard just create a perfect circle shape just like that and now i just want to hide the grade layer we don't want that to be visible so let's just go to the circle layer and start animating it so i'll just go to mask transform i'm going to create a position and scale keyframe and add at the very first frame i want the scale to be zero and position let's just undo this let's just change the position first I want the position to be right over here and scale to be at zero then let's move forward to one second and set the position to 150 and set the scale to around let's do 85 around that big okay now select all the keyframes Connect the keyframes to manual bezier going to value graph and just create a curve like this make sure you do this on both the position and the scale now just move forward to two second uh, or maybe let's just yeah let's just go to two second change the position and bring it to the left maybe to around negative 200 i will see that just like that and convert it to manual bezier going to value graph create a curve like this so now if we take a look at our animation it's going to look wiggly uh, but we can easily fix that if we select all the keyframes right click go to spatial interpolation set that to linear now we'll just fix that uh, wiggly animation for you okay so far so good then we can duplicate this circle layer go to mask transform and on the last keyframe i'll just hold the control key on the keyboard and click on this value right here i'll just basically turn that to or change these change that value from negative to positive so now we'll have something like that okay i'll just create or just drag in um, let's just duplicate this layer circle layer and call this line and i don't want any kind of mask on this for now let's just delete this mask okay want to create another mask so let's just enable the grade layer 
and select the line layer make sure it's highlighted select the rectangular mask tool place your mouse cursor in the center and just create a shape hold the alt key on the keyboard and just create a shape which is this big okay then we can go to mask transform and just change its position so let's just start add one second set the we'll unlink the scale set this to zero make sure you create a keyframe and we'll go two second and set that back to 100 and now we can just position this properly right in the center like that our anchor point is in the center as well which is good so let's just select the keyframes convert the keyframes to manual bezier then go into value graph and just create a curve like this and now our animation will look something like that so you can see line is being uh, line is connecting these two these two circle shapes okay so uh, let's go inside the circle and on the third keyframe I want the want to load down the scale amount so let's just set that to around 50 both the on both the layers the circle layers make sure it's manual bezier and create a curve on it as well uh, oops yeah something like that okay so now we'll just move the lines and the circle uh, downwards so I'll just do that with the line layer first create a position keyframe move forward to three second and just change its position somewhere over, somewhere over negative 130 select the keyframes convert the keyframes to manual bezier then go into value graph create a curve like this okay and we do the same thing with the circle shape as well so make sure your playhead is at three second and change it to negative 130 and i also want to scale i want to i want the scale to be zero as well so make sure your both these keyframes are manual bezier then we'll just change the value graph of both the position and the scale do the same thing with the other layer as well so let's just set the position to negative 130 and scale to zero convert the keyframes to manual bezier then go into value graph just create a curve like this it's gonna do something like that and uh, we'll see if we want to make any adjustments to this but for now uh, I want to input a logo so let's just do that real quick okay, so this here is my logo I'm going to put this in the logo placeholder so let's just double click on this comp the logo placeholder comp drag in our logo in this I can see it's too big so I'll just go transform and scale it down just like that Make sure it fits in the within this within the size of this composition and uh, yeah so if we can go back to main okay so and then we just drag in our logo placeholder under our create layer just like that and now i want this line to reveal this logo um, but let's just position this correctly first so maybe just put this somewhere over here and now uh, we'll just create a let's just drag in this background layer and rename this to matte I'm gonna hide this for now okay so what I want to do is I want the matte layer to have the similar kind of animation as this line layer has so I cannot simply pair in this layer it will not work like that because we have created this animation inside the mask and not on the layer itself so the parenting not will not work so we'll just have to manually keyframe this so i'll just go to one second in time or wherever this 
line starts to animate so it starts at two seconds so I'll just create a position keyframe there make sure that the bottom edge of this matte layer okay I can also apply the fill color just to show you what I mean by that so if I just quickly apply a color to this and enable this layer I can just put this shape or the matte layer on top of this line and uh, create a keyframe for that and then I'll just go to three second and just position it wherever the line is which it is right over here now select the keyframes convert the keyframes to manual bezier go into value graph and create a slope like this now we can just hide this band layer. we don't want that to be visible so in the effects I'm going to search for the set matte effect and apply it on the logo placeholder set the set matte to or set the source layer to matte set the blend to subtract um, so and also we'll just invert this um, so we can still see the top part of our logo so we can just fix that so we can just drag in our logo placeholder down just like that and that will fix that so if we play this you can see we have this nice animation looks like this line layer is revealing our logo but it's actually this matte layer that is doing that I also want to get rid of the line so I'll just go to mask the transform and at the last keyframe I want the scale to be at zero make sure it's a manual basic keyframe and just create a curve like this now it's going to do something like that or if you want to keep the line there only then you can just set this back to 100 um, it's completely up to you right so then we can add some text into this click on new layer click on text select the text tool and just type in something anything that you want I'm going to type in your name or let's just type in my username I'm gonna select the text go to the text tab and change the color to black and change the font as well so let's just use Roboto and light light style um, and then we'll just put this somewhere over here and to reveal it you can see that it's going to be visible from the very first frame so we'll just also create a reveal animation for this so I can create another matte layer I can just duplicate this and I'll just put this one uh, let's see I'll just put this one well I don't want this matte layer to animate so I'll just reset this and I'll just put the put it under the text like that okay and on the text layer we can create the animation so we'll just go to three second create a position keyframe go to the last or maybe let's just move 20 frames forward and let's see let's create another keyframe and on the very f on the first frame of the text I'm gonna put this make sure it's under the or uh, under the text or the matte layer so we'll just put it somewhere out there and select the keyframes convert the keyframes to manual bezier go into value graph create a curve like this it's gonna do something like that Okay, let's just hide the matte layer and the effects I'm going to apply the set matte on the text set the set source layer to matte to blend to subtract and there we go so now it's going to reveal from the bottom
just like that all right so if we take a look this is what we have created so far yeah so um that is how you can create some really amazing minimalistic intros for your videos inside hitfilm express so i hope you learned something new if you did please don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one